ಶ್ರೀಮಾತ್ರೆ ನಮಃ ಲೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಭೋಗಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಂಕ್ರಾಂತಿ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿವಿನಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಲ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಭೋಗಿ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಲ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಲೇಜಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೆಡ್ರಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನವ ಡೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೌನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸಪಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಲೇಜಸ್ ಈವೆನ್ ನೌ ದೇ ಬರ್ನ್ ಲಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಗಾರ್ಲೆಂಡ್ ಮೇಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಕೌಡಂಗ್ ಕೇಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎನಿ ಅನ್ನೆಸರಿ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫರ್ನಿಚರ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಎ ಬಿಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಫೈರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಪ್ಲೇ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಡ್ರಮ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ and go around the fire dancing and singing songs singing hymns it's a festival of happiness the yield from the land they come home and all the farmers are happy with their products so everywhere particularly in villages this happiness can be seen and on sankranti of course we have uh, some great festival we do special pujas and have a special lunch with all our friends and relatives this is the normal on this bhogi how as a sri vidya upasaka how we need to spend the day that's what i want to do discuss with you in addition to all these things i'm not asking you to leave anything this is a culture we need to preserve whether you are in usa or anywhere whatever small you can do in a small way you need to do this is a culture which preserves the race so on bhogi day we get up early in the morning before sunrise 100% sure and then if you have elders in your house we ask them to apply sesame oil to our head and we apply oil to all over the body and take a head bath we imagine we feel that all the impurities all the negativities are washed away with this great head bath taken on a special day called bhogi after that we wear some fresh cloth it need not be new fresh cloth and make a campfire and whatever is useless that means broken don't let us not keep it just put it in the fire that is normal culture after that that's what i am going to do in our house if you see any article any dress material anything which is not used by us for at least 6 months or which is not even moved by us for at least 6 months then that means it doesn't belong to us in sorry to say this in some of the houses as in walking closets and I, we go inside we see about hundreds of sarees hundreds of pants and shirts hanging onto the hangers and in some cases 70 to 80 pairs of slippers shoes i just wanted to say something when our fellow indians fellow people human beings let us not say indians some of them they go without any chappals barefoot even now and i have seen with my own eyes an old lady in andhra pradesh uh, rajamandri with just one sari in the year 1995 when i gave her five sets of sari she was crying god bless all these people i have seen the first time in my life second sari we do have our fellow citizens and fellow human beings how far it is justified to have so many so many hanging out of the hanger so let us take a wise decision and distribute some of the clothes some of the things which we are not using which are more than one like instruments more than one sarees and dresses more than a limited like maximum you need about 30 40 not more than that maximum i am saying and donate to the poor people that is the burning of desire on the bee
share with them slippers, shoes, forget about the matchings and other things. When another person is suffering for lack of a material, do we have to keep so much in our um, wardrobe in the name of fashion? We need to ask as a true human being. Okay. After that, you sit before mother and you think of, the. we'll all think of the fear and doubt in the Mooladhara. Collect that, how much we have. And the anger, lust, greed, ego, hatred, all these six enemies in the Swadhisthana. And make a heap of that. It's just an imaginary thing. We just give a form to these impurities and make a heap of that and burn them mentally in Manipura. Manipura is a sadhana place. So you need to think, as an Upasaka, I'm not supposed to have this uh, enemies beyond certain limits. It's very difficult to completely come out of them. Anybody, for anybody. So at least they have to, we have to keep it at a minimum level. So we just make a promise to mother, ma, yesterday with bhogi, I realized that all the impurities in me are need to be burned. And I'm burning them. Let the glow from this burning of these impurities, starting from Manipura, hit Anahata, that's where the 12 petals are there, and the new sun, sun uh, enters Makara Rasi uh, on Sankranti. So the new sun with a new energy, let it enter my life. At Anahata, then only, only when you burn all these impurities, you can feel that new sun on Sankranti day at Anahata. It's a feeling that makes you enjoy the uh, festival. So you need to take a commitment that from today, I will follow the Dharmic principle of a Sri Vidya Upasa. I told everything in modules, how you have to restrict your anger, how you need to be helping the people, how you need to have unconditional love, how you need to treat the fellow citizens, fellow beings, fellow human beings, animals, birds, trees, everything as a form of God. Let us aim for the high. We may not reach, but at least let us make a sincere attempt on this Sankranti day. And also, on the Sankranti day, we get up early in the morning again when the sun is red and with bare foot and without having glasses you look at that red sun and people living in foreign countries please uh, take care of yourself it may be winter for you so just take care of yourself and looking at the sun because sun is entering a new phase and it's going to bring in lot of auspiciousness if you offer a um, oblations to sun. So take some water in your both hands and with the mantra Hram Hrim Hrum Saha Martanda Bhairavaya Prakasha Shakti Sahitaya Swaha. I repeat once again Hram Hrim Hrum Saha Martanda Bhairavaya Prakasha Shakti Sahitaya Swaha. With this mantra, offer three times Argya to Surya water to Surya. You can just drop it on the uh, floor. And then there is a mantra called Chakshishmati Mantra, which we are going to enclose the audio and text uh, with, along with the audio file, this file. So you just, if you can, you by heart that uh, mantra. Otherwise, you listen to the mantra 12 times, looking at that red sun. Trust me, this mantra recited on a Sankranti day. And if you can, you can continue that every day, lifelong. It gives you tremendous energy to tackle the mundane issues in our life. Of course, externally, it is uh, it will cure some uh, eye ailments and skin ailments, but internally, that brings in the real knowledge, real light of knowledge in us. So, this is re real Makar Sankranti. 
and also on this special day of makara sankranti as i told you you need to take some um, commitment but you need to have complete faith and surrender to god you need to make a fresh statement because um i read somewhere uh, the astrologers say this time is very bad for some uh, people who born in some stars and they have they cannot take any life changing decisions around this sankranti first of all who asked us to take decisions as sri vidya upasaka we believe the ultimate decision is with her with ambar and all we need to do is just follow her decision listen to her decision at the our, our conscious um, level and then just follow it so you just tell mother amma these people are saying i should not take any decision uh, on this uh, sankranti day but please make me surrender to you completely so that i will never take a decision i just follow whatever the conscious the gut feeling says in that way i am always protected by you if you have that commitment trust me the mother herself will um, burn this fire of bhogi in your uh, manipura and see that the new sun comes into your life the same family same uh, world but still you will be a new person what is samsara if you acquire anything with an intention expectation that it's going to be useful some day in my childhood i used to see uh, even my in my family i used to see whenever we change our house then the lorry the last luggage we put on the lorry is a broken chair it will have only three legs instead of four and i used to ask why that chair no 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 it's coming from a long time somewhere it is be used at least the legs can be used for some uh, some purpose and it will never be used it will go to the attic if you are stacking the things like this then that becomes samsara samsara is not family if you are bringing up children with an expectation that they are going to take care of you at a old age then the, the children become samsara if you are uh, looking at the world dealing with the world with an expectation that this person is going to help me this person is going to take care of me then the world also becomes samsara and that is represented by this burning of materials in the bhogi fire so i wish this message goes to all of us um strictly so that they can understand the tatva behind this festival and implement them in the life and let goddess rajarajeshwari start your day with a new feeling with a new experience and a different kind of joy may god bless you all shri matre namaha om suryakshi tej se namaha खेचराय नम असतो मद्गमय तमसो मोतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतंगमय उष्णो भगवान्चि हंसो भगवान्चि प्रति विश्व घृणीन जात वेदस हिण्मयम ज्योतिरेक तपंत सहस्रश्मी शतधावर्तम प्राण प्रजाना उदयतेश सूर्य ओं नमो भगवते सूर्याय अहोवाहिनी वाहिन्यहोवाहिनी वाहिनी स्वाहा वयस्सुपर्ण उपसे दुरीद्रम प्रिय मेथा ऋषो नाद्वातमूर्नु पूर्धि चक्षुर्मु मुग्धस्मादे बद्धाकाक्षा नम पुष्करेक्षणा नम अमलेक्षणा नम कमलेक्षणा नम विश्वूपा नम श्री महाविष्णवे नमः